everyone and welcome to Coin Engineer. In the last video of our Binance Futures tutorial, we learned how to use Binance Calculator before opening our positions. In today's chapter, we will learn Hedge Mode and how to use it. Before we start, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell in order to get the priceless contents for free every day. Also, you can join our other social media accounts such as Twitter, Instagram and Telegram in order to get every content that we share. If you are ready, let's start. By the way, if you are new to cryptocurrencies and don't have a trading account, you can open your Binance account from these links with a lifetime commission discount. First of all, let's see what is hedge mode and how we can open it in our interface. You see the 5x button right here and just right of it, there's also a small button. Click on it and here you can see the preference. Click on the preference and choose the position mode. In the position mode, you can see the one-way mode and hedge mode. One-way mode is the classic mode which we generally use. In one-way mode, you can open long positions or short positions. While you are in a long position, if you open a short position, your long position will be sold. But in hedge mode, you can both open long and short positions at the same time. How does that happen? Binance allows you to open positions in both ways. But what am I gonna do with that? Why should I open positions in the both ways? This can be useful in extreme situations. Let's open hedge mode in our interface by clicking on the small dot and now you can close this step. If you want to change your position mode into one way again, you can follow the same steps to come here and click on the small dot just near the one way mode. Now I can close this step. Let's see in which positions we can use hedge mode. By the way, as you can see, when I opened my hedge mode, my open long and short buttons have changed. In one way mode, it said buy and sell. Because if you buy and after if you sell, your buy orders, I mean your long orders will be sold. But in hedge mode, as you can see, there is no buy and sell. You can open long and short positions at the same time from the same price. You can use the limit order while opening long and short orders and you can use market order as well as the limit order and the stop loss orders are the same. Hedge mode is generally used in sideways conditions. What do I mean? Let's give an example here. Look at this chart. Bitcoin was going sideways for nearly two days in here and you don't know if it will go up or down. What would you expect? There are highs and lows in a sideways chart, right? The high is the 22,132 and our low is here as you can see at $21,175. You can see how well these prices have worked before. This low has been a support and after the breakout it's worked as a resistance and here it worked as a resistance also. And now let's see you can't watch the graphic. You'll be out of your home, you'll be at your work or anything else. Right here you can open your both long and short positions and then place stop loss orders, right? Let's say you have opened your long orders at $21,628. Let's change its color so we can understand better. There are two possibilities. One, your long order will succeed and breakout will happen in the upper direction. In that case, you would have placed your target somewhere else that is not so important right now, but you must place your stop loss orders below here, right? So. You can place your stop loss orders just a little bit down from this support line and in the short order you can do the same but just opposite in the means of your position direction. You can place your stop loss orders higher than the resistance and your target can be anything else. It doesn't matter right now. After opening your long and short positions from market or limit order, again it doesn't matter. In market order you pay a little bit more commission and you open your positions directly from the market price but in limit order you pay less commission because you become a maker and you can open your orders in everywhere you want. And now it's time to put our stop loss orders, right? You can use stop limit or stop market right here. I generally use stop market because it guarantees that your Bitcoin will be sold. But in stop limit, if you place your order wrong, I mean if your stop price is let's say $21,000 and if you set your price to $21,950, if there's a huge drop happens and the liquidity drop, you may not be able to find a buyer for your stop order. So I generally use stop market to guarantee my safety. I pay a little bit more commission, but I'm more relaxed with the stop market order. Now, do not forget to change it 
from open to close while opening a position you must open your orders from this tab and also you can place stop orders as opening positions i mean if it breaks up from here buy me bitcoin you can make this let's say if bitcoin's price goes to twenty two thousand and three hundred dollars buy me a bitcoin how much bitcoin one bitcoin then i will open lock i will click on this and i will open lock and when bitcoin price comes here my stop order will be executed and my position will be open and remember we have opened our positions here if you want to place stop orders to close those positions at right times you must click on this close step and then place your stop market orders from here let's say i want to close my short position if bitcoin's market price goes to twenty two thousand and three hundred dollars you can set your size here and also you can change it by scrolling this as percentages after completely arranging this just click on the close short button be careful here look binance gives you the hint the long order closes the short order because they are the opposites right it says close short and the short order it was normally short order says close long the short order closes long because they are opposites do not forget that and be really really careful while opening orders so if i want to close my short order at 22300 us dollars i will write this here i will set my size and i will click on the close short order and the same thing applies to my long order let's say i want to close my long order at 21000 us dollars I'll write here 21,000 US dollars. I will set my size and I will click on the close long button. This is so important, guys. Now, what have I done? I've opened my long order. I've opened my short order and I set my stop orders. And now, what happened? Let's see. Our low has been broken and my long order got stopped out, right? Now, I'm going on with my short order with the current downtrend. This gives me an option to be in the markets while the trend goes on. It doesn't matter it's sideways, it doesn't matter it's a downtrend, it doesn't matter it's an uptrend. I open a both ways position. I hedged my portfolio and then whenever the sideways trend broken order which has the opposite direction gets stopped out and the order which has the similar way to the Bitcoin's trend goes on with me. And that's the end of it. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.